In many cases, thieves just don't know who they are stealing from, and that may have been the case when they stole a locked bicycle from outside a hospital. The bike belonged to the parents of a little boy who's battling cancer. Ten of your sides, Jason Mark spent the day with the family, and Jason, this is a tough blow. Nicole, just another punch to the gut for this family who has already been through so much pain. You never prepared for it. Two months ago, the Vanderslice family got news no parent ever wants to hear. It's probably the least thing that you would probably expect to happen to your own son as two years old is something dramatic as cancer and leukemia. But that doesn't stop two year old Louie from smiling. You want to trade places with your child. You do anything to trade places with your child. Here, here's your favorite ones. For the last 60 days, Laura and Josh have spent every night and day away from their Suffolk home essentially living at the hospital. They even brought their beach cruisers, locked them up on this rack at EVMS next to the hospital. They used the bikes to go get lunch and dinner. Saves money from having to pull the car in and out of the parking garage. My bike was parked, is always parked right here. My wife's bike is always parked right here. But Wednesday, the unthinkable happened. We were going to run some errands um, and my husband, you know, looked out the window and he said, I don't see my bike. I was walking up and my chain was cut and uh, my bike was stolen and they decided to leave her bike. They saw that there was a child seat attached and they knew they were stealing a dad's bike. Um, and you know, it just speaks about the character of the person who took it. He has a baby. Oh, nice shot. The Vanderslices say it's not about the bike. It's about the impact that the thief has left. It's more sad than anything. You know, I mean, granted criminals are criminals, but, and they don't care who they're stealing from or what their story is. They don't know that they, took someone's property whose child has cancer, you know, they don't know that our, our whole entire life has been uprooted and, um, you know, we, we've had to adjust to a new normal. Now, before Louie went to the hospital, his favorite thing to do was ride on the back of his dad's bike. Now, the family is hoping police can find that bike so he can do it again when he gets out. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.